it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecrafts.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator working in Scotland and I've come on today just for a wee quick live just to share from the heart suite with you. We're halfway through January and I guess some people will be thinking about making Valentine cards and things. So don't know who will be available this morning. Hi Jacqueline. Um, I was just having a look at From the Heart Suite this morning and doing a wee bit of um, stamping. So I'm just, just getting set up here. I think we're in the right direction today. So that's a good thing. So, hi Janice. Okay, so I just just having a wee look in the catalogue and having a look at from my heart sweet. Um, so just just going to have a play. This is a lovely sweet. If you, it not just for Valentine's, I'm sure you can use it for other occasions as well. But do you know that anniversaries, weddings, etc. would be fine with this so if you if you have a look um there's designer series paper there's a stamp set there's two punches beautiful ribbon where's the ribbon i was going to show you beautiful how shiny is this gorgeous 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 ribbon it's very 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 smooth it's got what looks like a wee stitched edge it's just the way it's woven but it is beautiful um, so we've got that. There's these foil foil tins. They're quite big, quite big. So you could bake in them, or you could just you could just put maybe put some nice chocolates in. They've got nice lids. I'll just try to get one out to show you. They are food grade, so you can use them for do you know anything. The lids fit nice and snugly. We've got doilies. I've got one out of the pack here, which actually fit in there, so that's useful. That one doesn't want to come off the lid now. <laughs> I'm keeping that one out because I've got an idea. So these are a fair size. That would be one size of a cupcake you would put in there. Might just fill it with some nice Valentine uh, heart-shaped chocolates or something like that. It is kind of a bit girly for me, Jacqueline, too. And I, I am pushing myself out of my comfort zone to have this and play with it. But I figured that a lot of my customers would be wanting to make Valentine's cards. In fact, I do have a couple of commissions for Valentine's cards anyway. So that hence the reason I bought it. So And obviously to let everyone have a look. You might not want to use all of the elements. But I think throughout the year, these punches will be so handy, they layer. So you've got a scalloped edge one. Again, it's a good size heart. Now I'll just show you a little, I think there are some papers coming. Um, if you are a demonstrator, you will already have access to these papers. Um, these are coordinating papers with a lot. This is called Please This Punch Designer Series Paper. Hi LaDonia, hi Jackie, hi Rails. Um, and this has three sheets I think it is. There's tulip, the, I'll just let you see the whole thing. Beautiful colours. So there's tulips, if you've got the tulip punch you can punch these. These actually fit and you can punch them out. If you've got the little blossoms punch, what's um, from the celebrations, they punch out there. A beautiful stripe on the back of that. Lovely check gingamy look here. And wow, look, the hearts. And just so that. And then there's the. I'll show you the umbrella ones as well. So you've got raindrops on the back. And then the umbrellas. And these work with the umbrella punches. How neat is this? This is just so clever. So it fits all our items that we already have, punches we have. And how great is it to have something to punch out? And I'll just let you see, I'm not going to punch one out, but I'll let you, just to prove to you that this punch is worth buying. And that paper too, look, we have a lovely wee white border around that. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm making that visible for you. And there you go, so you've got five 
one, two, three, four, five, six, 30 hearts in a sheet. And there's three sheets, so there's 90 hearts that you can punch out. These papers are coordinating, Janice. I don't know if you've noticed them. So these heart punches will be so useful. So I've got them. I certainly will be using them. And these little heart faceted gems. I'll let you have a quick look. I'm just having a quick look and then I'm going to do a bit of stamping and play. I've not, I have actually had the stamp set open and used the wee heart, one of the little hearts out of it for something I was needing a heart for. Look at these, how fab are these? Wee flat back gems so that you can stick them on. And they've got a wee sparkly bit at the top. So fabulous bling, fabulous bling. Great stuff. And there's a lot in there and you can glue them down. So that's them. I'm going to put the catalogue to the side. Um, the papers that actually go with the From My Heart Suite again. The punch fits these ones. So you've got little lovely patterns. So the colours are Real Red and Flirty Flamingo. The papers are foiled. Again, you can punch these out if you want to. Beautiful background with a, a paler pink. I'm not sure if that's... Um, what are the colours? Which pink is that? Doesn't tell me which the paler pink is, unless it's just paler version of Flirty Flamingo. I know, Janice, I, I did think long and hard about buying it. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Wendy. If I've missed saying hello to you, um, I'm sorry, but um, just give me a nudge. Beautiful, look at this, beautiful foiling. And the hearts on the other side, there's hearts. This one's not foiled, they're not all foiled, but some of them are. Beautiful hearts, stripes. I'm sure, you know, if you're not into Valentine's, there's still a lot of use for this paper. Anniversary wedding day cards, arrows here. Look, these these um, are foiled. Little wee heart pattern. I mean, even on a baby, uh, well, a girl baby card, I've no doubt. Um, stripes. Fabulous. Just fabulous. As I say, I will be thinking of, I'll do my best to think of non Valentine. Right, and the stamp set, of course. The colours in the suite are real red and flirty flamingo. So I'm just going to play with them so that I can coordinate with what I've already got. But before the week's out, I will have stamped with this set without pinks and reds. Okay, so it's Saturday morning here in Scotland. It's a beautiful, beautiful sunny winter's day. So, oh. I don't know how it is in your part of the world. I'm going to start off with this larger, larger heart. And I did have a block out yet. Yeah, I brought blocks out. I said I haven't stamped with this. You'll see that here. That I haven't stamped with this yet. And I'm actually going to go for it with the real red. And this one. I think I'll block up this other one here. And I'm going to do a, basically just a one sheet wonder, kind of a thing. I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but we can only try. And then maybe later on um, at the weekend, I'll come back and show you what I do with it all. Steph, you're walking is amazing. Right, this is, I'm going, I'm going to get some foam pads, I've got some here, just to put under here. 
I don't watch Ro Ruth at Artful Stampin' for nothing, you know, I learn things. Two together. Here we go. The stamp will never be the same again. Never will it be clear again. Oh, look, <laughs> my fingers will not be clean again either. A wee bit of overlap will be fine. I wonder what it's like stamped off. It's all right. Yeah, new Janice, it would be Eve quite late for you. You're the same, Jacqueline. Yeah, very cold, but sunny. Oh, that's not so good. That stamping off wasn't good, so we'll just have to kind of overlap that so it's not so obvious. So that kind of changes what... Oh, that works well. See, now a mistake showed me that I... You know, that's actually... It looks nice when they're layered like that. I can do that there. Probably could condition this stamp a wee bit first and give it a wee rub. It's, it's having a wee problem in the middle, but... I think if you sometimes if you use um, what do you call it Versamark first, or give it a wee rub with a a wee rubber or something. I actually like the stamping off here. Got you all talking about weather. I'm so sorry that you're getting floods. You did need rain over the east of Australia, but you didn't maybe need a complete deluge. But it's just like so extreme, isn't it? better as my stamp as as I use the stamp it's getting better. I've no idea what I'm doing. Does anyone else? I am staying directional. I can see that. So you don't need to mask with this with you're just because you're um the first impression is so Strong. I don't know whether I do one more about here. The, when you do the second one, it all automatically looks like it's underneath. I'm going to leave it at that with that stamp and find the little one and then play with Flirty Flamingo. I'm going to take this off. This is really just. It does, doesn't it? It's going, giving us a layer. I'm just doing lots of overlapping. I'll have to do something here. That'll be the bit that gets cut out for whatever. I, I don't know. But I've no idea what I'm going to do with this. I'm just doing it. Oh, I like that. That's lovely.
I'm actually thinking this might just make some nice little bookmarks. A nice bookmark for somebody that likes to read romantic novels. <laughs> Steph, <laughs> I can do that too. So this is the flirty flamingo going in here and I'm just, I'm trying to be random. I don't know what to do here. I'll try just, kind of deflects from it a wee bit. I'll use, I think we'll use some other stamps above or I'll put a few of these above just to keep it even. So I'm just doing a wee quickie craft just now because I'm off to have my shower and start cooking. My family are coming for dinner. My son's home from Australia for a couple of days. He's off to Sweden tomorrow to do for business. Um, so I'm going to cook some childhood favourites of his and my and my daughter. Right, I'm going to leave that one at that. I've, I've no idea if I'm doing a good job or a bad job. I'm just doing. Okay, so. What, we've got some little hearts here. What else have we got in here? I've got the arrow. No, there's too, we're too fussy. I'm just going to use these little hearts and pop them around in the spaces and then we'll have a full sheet and who knows what we're going to do with it. Any suggestions what you might do with a sheet like this? the red back again. Well no, Wendy, and it was an unplanned visit. It's just because he suddenly had to come to Sweden. Um, so he just jumped over here for a few days. I am definitely going to chop it. Yeah, do you think bookmarks would be good? going to kind of do these more random. I'm actually going to put that one over there and hide that splodge. See nobody knows I splodged now. Wait a minute till I wipe that. The block. Just put another one here. Hide my splodgy. What are the sentiments on in this stamp set? So lucky to have a friend like you. From my heart to yours. Being friends is better than eating candy. And that's not sort of thing that we would say in Scotland. Because we in Scotland we have sweeties, not candy. I think, yeah, I think they're so lucky to have a friend like you. Could make bookmarks for your friends, couldn't you? Let's see. A few more of these, I think. I know, I think I might do one um, in different colours. Just a couple more of these, I think. And then I'm going, there's another lovely wee heart. Uh, let's get that in there too. I 
think these stamps will need to be a soapy water. Hi Pam, how are you feeling? Are you any better? Do you, is Valentine's not really a thing in Australia? Yeah, I could, you could do something 3D too, Sharon. Right, so I'm just going to pop these little ones in and around. Oh, I hope the medication's kicking in. Touchwood, I haven't had shingles, but I've plenty of people around me have. So I know how horrid it is. I'm randomly just doing three. I, I might, I think I'll leave a bit at the top. I'm not sure if I'm going to do what I'm doing here. What would you like me to do? Would you like me to do another kind of one sheet wonder but in completely different colours from that or do you want me to make this up into I think bookmarks to be honest what what would you think or tags having a wee think what do, what what would you like me to do with that see when I see it on the screen it actually looks really good doesn't it That's good, Pam, because you really do have to get started quickly. Another one in a different colour way, Vanessa. Right, let's see. Let's put these reds. So what colours? Give us give me an idea what colours, Vanessa, or anyone else. Some greens and blues. I have them all, so just tell me which one you want. Thanks, Pam. We were saying that I'm not really a Valentine's girl. Um, we do recognise it. We do acknowledge it, my husband and I. But <laughs> I hope we say every day is Valentine's Day for us. Do you believe that? Purples, rails, okay. Right, well, what about purple and coastal cabana? All right, and we're gone. I don't... All right, okay. Gorgeous grape. Costa Cabana. One more colour maybe? What other colour would you like in there? You find my my card first. That's okay, Wendy. It really it was impromptu and it's now going longer than I intended, but do you know what? I'll just have to move myself faster. The dates are soaking for the sticky toffee pudding and the chicken's cooked for the chicken pie, so we're alright. Um it will happen. I've got all day. Right, so where is my chamois? Brand new chamois and I'm going to clean real red things on it. That's not really that clever, is it? But hey, let's use the cloth to take the worst off. I was looking for a third colour. Daffodil, Daffodil Delight, that's interesting. Why not? Right. Okay, so let's see what happens. Actually, th that's a nice palette. I like that. Are you coming tonight, Janice? Well, you better get moving then. Get here. <laughs> An overnight flight. You know what? You'd be more than welcome. I 
I'm going to stick with these three. So yeah, if you're a fan of chicken and sweet corn pie and sticky toffee pudding, that's what's on offer at mine tonight. Right. Right, so I'm, I'm going to use the gorgeous grape as my main thing because I just love that. So we're going to have some... I don't know how I'm going to do this. Just make sure that the clinks don't really want real red and purple. It can be a bit muddy. So let's just make sure they're nice and clean. Gosh, take some cleaning that off. That's my chamois ruined. It's awful wet as well, but never mind. <laughs> Just make sure they're all clean. You need to get a direct flight. Right, let's go. Let's just go. Right, this is going to do something a bit. I don't know if I'm doing different or not, but I'm doing it. Right, my stamping's not too good here. What are we doing wrong? Do you know, begin, I think in my gorgeous grape, I've used it so much, I think it's needing a bit of a re ink. Which reminds me, I've got to thank someone for. Some re anchors that I got. Maybe do it that way, it might ink up better. Floaty hearts. I think this will do some kind of, I think, cards. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a line down here as well. Oh, that's not good. Of course, that's right on that join. Well, that'll be where that's getting cut off then, won't it be? I think I'm needing to do a bit of re-inking. A lot of over stamping going on here, and as you see, I'm not having the best. I, th I don't think it's stamping, I, I think it's I need to re ink this. Yep, I'll just I'll keep inking it this way. And I was supposed to stamp off, it wasn't, and I didn't. Yay! I'm excited to see my son today. He's been staying with his sister, which is about half an hour away. So I was at work yesterday. He had a day with his dad and his sisters. Yeah. And um, 
excited to see him today but gonna have to say my goodbyes tonight so not got our tr next trip planned so that you know we need to think about that start getting the next i can cope better if i know when i'm going to see him next and right at the moment i don't know when i'm going to next see him and his lovely wife and their two beautiful children my grandchildren right so we've got two kind of strings of hearts here in the purples not my best stamping i have to say but let's just and then i'm going to bring a different color with these guys i am just playing It just shows you, you re it really doesn't matter what your stamp set's about. Every stamping up, every set that's stamping up, bring out, there's something you can do with it, even if it doesn't float your boat at first. I've got a son and a daughter and I've got a, I've have um, a granddaughter and a grandson in well near Glasgow and a grandson and a granddaughter in Australia and I'm very proud of them both all of them and I'm sure you all know that because I never shut up about them. Right, so we'll just pop that one there just now. And we'll bring in our daffodil yellow. I actually think we might bring in the granny apple green too, actually. I don't know. I've no idea what I'm doing here, but then obviously once I chop this up, I'll leave some room for sentiments. I know I'm quite liking it. some in here just into the spaces I know Sorry, I go quiet when I'm stamping. I don't think I have to blather all the time, guys, because you can speak to each other too. Yeah. Happy birthday. I'm trying to think which one is. I don't know if I've got happy birthday, Steph. Happy birthday to you. Did I get that one? Yes, I did. Yeah. Aha, the celebration one. Oh, yes. I actually have taken part in a blog hop next Saturday and I'm using that one in my card. Yeah, that's cool. A wee hint, I used a bit of decoupage. What do you think? Do you think a wee bit of granny apple green would just come in the mix here? I don't want to fill up this too much because I want to leave room for a sentiment. 
I think I'll just try it anyway. Nothing to lose, have I? Bring a fourth colour in for a bit of fun. Granny Apple Green. For me, green and purple kind of feel Scottish. So, yeah, let's bring the Granny Apple Green in. I just, I love Granny Apple Green. It's a nice, vibrant green. It works well with the purple and it'll work well with the yellow. Hope you're going to share what you do, Steph. Hi, Renee. I think we've got one or two Australians in here, Renee. Or not all Australians as such. Some of you are just... Live in Australia. I do like this little heart stamp because it's got the wee white bit in the middle. The negative heart. Just filling in some spaces with it. And I think some of my poor stamping can be. Of course, when I um, make these up, I can use other gems and do you think it needs any more? We'll leave it at that, will we? Yeah. It's because it's your evening rather than... I think in the UK on a Saturday morning, most people are busy with family stuff. You're ahead of us and you've done your Saturday. You're winding down. Okay, that just, it just shows you a completely different colour way. Will we chop this up and see what happens then? I'm going to leave it at that and then just add a sentiment to the cards. Let's just have a wee, see what card I've got handy. If I've got any card bases here we will see what we've got there's a granny apple green base and I think we might add some Costa Cabana around that I've already chopped up yeah let's just see what happens right trimmer who where did I put the trimmer here it is I am going to just chop. I'm going to keep these simple. I'm just going to cut this at 10.1 centimetres there. And then this one at 14.4. Is it going to have... It's going to have a bit of that on it. Mm, I don't know. And if it was 14, would it have a bit of that on? Yep. So let's just see what happens. I don't know. I don't know. I think we well, might take that down and layer it up, do you think? How far do I have to chop off there? 13.4 takes it off. Let's just go for that then. And 9.1. And then that 
can whoops drop oh gosh can't lose them i just dropped something very valuable right that has to go back up there right that one's smaller so it'll i'll have to layer that one up where's this going but this one i must have done them more that way so this one can go bigger 14.4 you just decide for each card how you're going to work with it but i didn't think it looked too good with that on the other side whoops so that will be I did cut that at 10.1 and that's 14.4 that one so we'll do a simple one and a layered one and probably the same here so let's cut it to 10.1 first because that will be the biggest one oh better put that in my scrap box I've been paying more attention to Ruth of Artful stamping and all her scrap work so how did I get pink up there that's not so good so that's one's going to be this is going to be a smaller panel this one to be rid of that or take it this way and have if it was 14.4 it's going to look like that I'm not too keen on that actually. I'm thinking I might do something a bit. I'm going to leave that just now. Think about that one. I'm not so. And this one will be a simple one at 14.4. Right. I'll have to be do a bit of extra stamping on. It's because my fingers are pink with red, we're using the real red. So I've got that one, that one, and this one. I'm, mm, I'm not sure about this at all. I'm, go, I'm just gonna just gonna chop it that bit off. And then measure it and see what we've got. I not know, I not know. Of it. I'm still going to think about that one. So let's do the two simple ones first. That's not that one. Do that one. We just need a sentiment. So where are our sentiments? So, love you lots. That could be for my grandchildren, couldn't it? Might send one back to them. over um, inking this because this is a bit dry so I'm making sure I've got plenty there you go that's a nice it's a nice font as well I'm just gonna glue this up now I did have um, a jar with a here we go this is an old jar that I've got and I just keep my ink usually like that so that it should flow but then it's been there overnight so who oh look at that immediately it's been overnight without a lid on and it worked first time oops so that's 
So there you go. Now there's a very easy and quick card. Now what would something similar look like on the the granny apple green one that I've got here? That's not right, there's something not right here. I've cut this wrong. <laughs> Haven't I? So this is going to have to be layered up. So let's get the me what measurements have I used here? Somebody needs to keep an eye on me. And smaller. Yeah, because I cut that off and it was just at f just on fourteen. So I need to cut this to nine point seven, which is there. <laughs> I, I don't that one do you think yeah I suppose that one would work okay in portrait I'm not too happy with this splodgy bit here but what I was thinking was it needs I don't know if I cut that off and cut it narrower and then layer it up Or if I just stamp my set no, that was a bit high for the sentiment. Do you know what? I'm gonna chop it off and we'll see what happens. Right, that's that off and I need a pencil to write down that that is 13.5 by there's no proportion happening here because I've lost <laughs> I've lost it do you know what it won't matter so I'm just going to cut it at I could cut it at how much did I chop off there lost all my bits Right, I'm going to go at nine. So I need a piece of Costa Cabana or any of these other colours that are in here. I don't think I've got any cut. Just cut this one up because it doesn't look too good. So it needs to be, we'll go for 9.4 and 13.9. So I'm adding four millimeters onto the size of my layer. Let's see if that and that's not right. What am I doing? You're distracting me. It's pretty. Yeah, because that's because that's twelve point five, Janice. You can't even measure. You're a nightmare. Got this one. Put the trimmer out of the way just now. I could have used ribbon or a gem or something. I just felt it was a bit 
too near the edge. What I was going to show you was that these doilies actually come in white as well so you could you could sponge that up and have that as a topper on there um, I think I wonder I wonder 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 so where's my daubers Sentiment. What would fit on to that heart? I could stamp on there and then that one fits on nicely. Right, block. Well, this stamp set is well and truly christened now. I'm going to. I'm doing it in the gorgeous grape. So lucky to have a friend like you. And then I'm going to just use that dauber. This is probably why this ink pad is dry because I keep sucking the ink out of it with my daubers and I'm just going to Remember that you can, I don't know if I'm showing you from add colour but you can't, you can't take it away so just a bit at a time. Now that just takes the stark white off that and so we'll glue this on first and then we'll add that on. You see I've, because I noticed that this card was a bit mucky because it's been lying about a while that's why I used this one for the layer. Make sure your card's opening the, the way you want it to. And then I'll get some dimensionals. to get off in a minute and go and get showered and dressed and get cooking I think oops so lucky to have a friend like you I, that to me is actually okay as it is but if you wanted to add you can always add some gems ribbons you can dress these things up as you want so I'm, I'm going to leave it at that, ladies, because I do need to get myself moving. So just to go back to where we started, we started off using the colours that Stampin' Up! have used for the sweet in the papers and, and, and most of their makes in the catalogue. And if you look at Pinterest, you'll be seeing a lot of flirty flamingo and a lot of real red looks fab and I will use it with thinking bookmarks it is really nice I'm really chuffed with it and then we went on to use a completely different colourway 
um, in this one we've used our gorgeous grape coastal cabana daffodil delight and these colours were all at your suggestion ladies and granny apple green and that's a lovely palette and that's given us some really nice stamping and I did that one coming two, down the two sides because I had in my head I would do four cards I had in my head that they would be landscape cards but at Vanessa's suggestion I have done that one in portrait and actually that looks fab so thanks very much for sticking with me ladies and I will once I yeah that's what I was thinking LaDonia for those that like to read romance that would make really nice bookmarks so um, I'll probably come on later this weekend probably tomorrow and maybe um, make up the bookmarks um, and share that so I'm going to concentrate a wee bit on this this week this week just so that all my lovely customers and followers can get some ideas of what to do with it. Not that I've got any more ideas, although one is coming in my head right now. You just watch this space. You never know what might happen this week when I get some time. Okay, thank you so much, ladies. Those of you who are going to bed soon, have a good sleep. Those of you who are just getting moving and starting your day, have a great day. And whatever you're doing, wherever you are, just remain positive and happy and make the best of what you've got. Bye bye. And of course the proceed the process of trying to switch this off is ever amusing. Not gonna have to see in my jammies again. Here we go.